What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of uh, Connor and Viper's The Links Academy video. I'm Viper and I'm with... I'm, I'm Connor, what's up? And today we have a nice uh, spicy deck that we uh, want to go through. Um, X, X, top, X top tier deck. Um, obviously it still smacks. But it's not as good as it was when it first got released, unfortunately, because one of the good cards is limited to one. Uh, let's get into, we'll get into it. And so, the deck is Kokai Maru. Yeah, Kokai Maru. So basically, this is the deck. Uh, we're currently on a five win streak, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, yeah, so we've got. Kokai Maru with Tie That Binds. Um, you can use this deck with Sealed Tombs. Um, either way, which either way, they both seem to work. Obviously, with Sealed Tombs, you'd have to make your play from the graveyard first before you activate the effect. Um, but in saying that, if you do, um, core reinforcements will be useless to you if you run Sealed Tombs. Because obviously... When a Kokai Maru card is destroyed, you can bring it back from the graveyard. Which you won't be able to do that if you use Sealed Tombs. But anyway, that's... So a different deck. Oh, but, um, so we are trying to go for... Uh, Bergzak. Obviously, you know... You have to pay a cost. And this one is you have to send an Iron Core of Kokai Maru. You, from your hand to your graveyard to keep on the field. If you don't, the card will be destroyed. But um, maybe all the Kokamaros have their effects like that. So with uh, Bergzak's effect, is basically reveal a, mon uh, a warrior type monster. So you you choose Erd Knight. That's not a warrior. It's oh. Beast Warrior. Alright, so you would have to, we would have to chuck in a beast warrior to, uh, for its effect, but its effect is basically rev, um, reveal a wa warrior type monster in your hand, and if this card destroys an mo opponent's monster by battle, it can attack twice in a row, so it's another easy way for an OTK. It's not recommended if you ever just do decide to go for this deck. Um, not recommended because the deck set up now. Uh, we've done plenty of OTKs, but we'll go through the cards. The, the play and the effects. Um, so obviously, Sandman. Obviously, you have to send an Iron Core from your hand to the graveyard to keep it on the field, unless unless you use Diamond Core. If you use Diamond Core and it searches for a card, and then you activate its effect in the graveyard to banish it and it protects your monsters, then you don't have to pay no cost. Um, so graveyard. So Sandman's effect is basically. Um, if on the field and your opponent activates a trap card, <coughs> you can tribute it contribute itself to negate it, um, which is actually does come in handy for like Kamaha. Any any trap that banishes or monster effect that banishes, um, it does affect um, the Koka and Maru deck because they're just based on saving the Diamond Core saves you from target from destruction, battle destruction or destruction in general. So like your, your, your floodgate, your no, no your treacherous trap, treacherous won't work against it if you've activated diamond core in the graveyard. Anything that destroys can't be destroyed by battle. So you could have a lower type monster. You could have say for example, which one's the low one? Oh, they're all high. But let's say let's say um, Chris Soda had twelve hundred, and you've activated this the second effect of Diamond Core in the graveyard, you could actually swing in and you won't lose and your monster will still stay on the field. Right, so that's um so Urnite basically you have to you can if you have say two Urnites in your hand you can actually reveal the second Urnite to keep Urnite on the field or you send an iron core of Kokai Maru to your hand from your hand to your graveyard or you reveal one beast type warrior monster in your hand once per turn so you could do it with Crusader. And it will stay on the field. But its other effect is, if you have an Iron Claw of, of Kokai Maru in your hand, you can special summon another 
Coco Marine Monster from the deck or from your hand. So it could be either Sandman, Wall, Crusader, or Ice. And it's one play for an OTK, which we'll get to after we go through these cards. Coco Maroon Maximus card is so freaking OP, and hence why it's limited to one. Because you can only special you can't it can only be special summoned by you have to banish a iron core iron core from your hand and you can special summon and its second effect is you can activate its other effect to destroy any card on the field once per turn and it can still attack. Um, if they but for example if they send your card back to your hand so if you're coming up against harpies and on your turn they send it back to the hand you can actually re-special summon it and activate its effect again. And um, they can't send it back because I've already used the effect of Harpy. So it's another way to get over Harpies. Now, and to keep it on the field, you have to send, or you can reveal a Kokai Maru monster from your hand. You have to send a Kokai, so you can either be Iron Core or a Kokai Maru monster from your hand to the graveyard once per turn during your battle phase. I, um, so basically, you can either send an Iron Core to the graveyard to keep it on the field, or you can choose any of these other monsters, minus, obviously you can't have another one of these, but any other Coco Marine monster that you've got, uh, send it to the graveyard to keep it on the field. Uh, wall is same thing, you have to send an Iron Core of Coco Marie from your hand to the graveyard, or you reveal a rock, which I don't think we have another rock. No. Um, but, and Mar Marie's other, um, Wall's other effect is you can, if they, if your opponent activates a, a spell card, you can negate, you contribute itself to negate it, which Sandman doesn't... has the, that ability, but for traps instead, but you got to sacrifice Sandman to do that. Yeah, so they say walls the same, you gotta sacrifice itself as well. Crusader, um, obviously set an iron core or reveal a beast type warrior, so you choose your your own knight to keep on the field. <clears throat> and if it destroys a car an opponent's monster by battle, you can add another Kokamari from your graveyard to your hand. So it's good to recycle. Recycle, yeah. Now he Ice is actually pretty OP. I'm actually surprised this card has not been limited. But you you have to send an uh, Iron Core to the to the graveyard, or reveal one continuous spell card in your hand. But we don't run continuous spells. The only continuous spell we have is, is tanky. tanky. Um, it's also its other effect is you can discard a a card, any card from your hand. And you can destroy special summoned monsters, and this is another once per turn effect. This, you can keep going. If you've got three cards in your hand and they special summon three monsters, you can activate Ice's effect three times. I'm surprised in the rarity of this card, given how good its effect is. Uh, we got we run two Mystic Typhoons, but these I'll just take these out for a second, but. I would. This is core. To, th these is the only. These are the core deck cards to the deck. Um, ten keys basically is to search for one of these monsters. So ten key can search for Urnai, and then if you've got an Iron Core in your hand, you can do you play that way. It's one of the steps to do OTKs. Uh, so we all know what ten key does. You can add one. Lot for level for a lower beast type warrior monster. No, so my bad. I can only search for Koka Maria or Crusader, but you, I mean, Urnight and Crusader. But you'd always go Urnight unless you've got it in your hand, then you could probably go Crusader. I've already just explained to you what Diamond Core does, but Diamond Core you can search for any any card. Um, you can search for Rockwall, uh, Sandman. And uh, Maximus Wall, Crusader Ice, uh, Iron Core. Um, yeah, so second effect is when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it from the graveyard and it will protect your monsters from destruction. So 
when you've activated it, you don't have to pay no cost. Um, but this is a turn two deck. This is not a turn one. Um, if you start second, eight out of ten, you'll probably win. Just given that you don't get Karma Cut or any of your monsters get banished, you're guaranteed to you're almost guaranteed to win. <clears throat> now, Iron Core, you in your draw phase. Um, if this card's in your graveyard, you can instead of drawing or send one Koka monster to your hand to your graveyard. So you can send one of these a Koka Marine monster from your hand to your graveyard, and you can actually bring this back. So you can constantly recycle. Um, but you only really do that if, say, if you draw in and say you've got Maximus. If you already have everything you need. Yeah, so let's say you draw a core, right? But you don't have Maximus. Um, or let's say you have Maximus, but you've already sent the Iron Core to the graveyard before you've gotten your Maximus. You can actually discard any other card, any other Kokamaru card, and bring it back, and then do your Maximus play. Um, back pff, Extra deck can be anything. I pretty much, like if I go up against Harpies, I use Patriarch. And the only really cards I use is probably Malevolent Sin. Um, or, and if I come across Harpies, then I use Patriarch, obviously, because then that screws them up. Um, obviously, Galaxy Cyclone, we all know what that does. Destroy a spell or trap, and then its graveyard effect is you can destroy a face-up spell or trap on the field. Um, so now the plays. We'll go through the plays and so you get a good idea before we actually show you videos. Um, so let's say, for example, you started off with, say, Urnite, Maximus, Sandman, Wall, and a Kokomaru oh, no. Di Diamond Core. What you would do is you'd activate your Diamond Core first, search for the Iron Core, of Marie because Iron Core because obviously you, you need Iron Core in your hand to activate Onite's effect. Uh, once you got in your hand, you summon Onite, activate its effect. It re it reveals so your opponent will see this card. Then you can bring in either Sandman, Wall, Crusader, or Ice. Now, given on the situation of the deck, whether they've got back row. It's it's really a gamble here. You gotta you've got to just predict whether it's going to be a spell or trap. Most of the mm. time it's a trap, so you choose Sandman. But if you feel like it's going to be a spell, then you'll bring in Wall. And let's say you've got Maximus in your hand, so you, you do not activate the Diamond Core beforehand. You have to play your monsters first before you can activate Diamond Core in the graveyard. Because if you say if you played Urnite and say Sandman and then you activated it, your Maximus will not be protected. And you would have to end up discarding. Because it says here, um, when you banish this card from your graveyard, the rest of for the rest of this turn, your, your Koka and Marine monsters you control cannot be destroyed. So if you've played, if you've activated this in the graveyard before you've played your Maximus, your Maximus is not protected. So when you finished your plays, you always activate it last before you go into attack mode. Before you go into attack, or if you end your turn. Um, so basically, what you do is so you've played, you've done your play with Urnite, Zaman. Um, you always do Urnite first. If you've got Urnite and Iron Core and Maximus in your hand, do the Urnite play first because when you special summon, you've got to banish an Iron Core. So if you banish, bring out Maximus first. You banish that uh, Onite's effect. We won't be able to use Onite's effect. And this is the OK. This is the OTK part. So you'd play. So you do that. You do that play. Bring out Maximus. Banish that. Activate Diamond Core. Swing in. Well, before you swing in, you would activate Maximus' effect to destroy their monster. If they've got no back row, if they've got monster and back row, I'd probably destroy back row. Because either way. You activate tight that binds your monster is going to be bigger than that monster that's in the field, whether it's in defense or attack. And then you'd use your Sandman to attack. And then you've got your Urnite plus your Maximus to still attack. And there's your OTK. 
Um, or you could play, or you could, if you want to play more defensive, you could summon in Ice. You could use O Knight and Ice and just discard your, your hand to destroy special summon monsters. Um, that's another play. That's another play that you can do. Um, what it is, um, but you have to, so like once you've used all three of your diamond cores, which the games hardly ever last that long, but if you want to use all three, that's it. Like you <coughs> you you'll lose your monsters and you'll probably end up losing. But this is the deck. I think it's X top tier. Unfortunately, you know, I don't think Maximus would ever get unlimited because Maximus and Diamond Core. Diamond Core breaks this deck given its graveyard effect, but so does Maximus because it's not like alternative White Dragon where if you use its effect to destroy a monster, you can't attack that turn. This card can still attack. It's a better version of Ultimate Dragon. Uh, so, uh, uh, Sam and Wall Ice caught this deck. Um, I would not use this deck if you don't. If you do not have Ice, uh, Sandman or Wall, you could probably get away with. You could use Rook Lord. Rook Lord's another card that you can tribute one, and then on tributing. Once it's been summoned from tributing, you can destroy two cards. But we don't use um, Rock Lord because we've got we got Sandman, we've got we got Wall, we've got Maximus, we got two MST and a Galaxy Cyclone. Having so, Maximus and Rook, you're gonna end up breaking a lot. Uh, so X top tier deck. This deck was top tier back in 2019. Um, so if you ever decide to go for this deck, not many people know what this deck does because obviously people don't read the cards. But it's one of my best decks. I actually love this deck. Like I said, we're currently on a five win streak. Um, we'll, we'll get into the favorite duels. So we're pl currently planting six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we're on a six win streak. So, um, we end up just losing to this bloke using Dragonuity. But other than that, it's, it's, the deck's really good. Other than good. that, we're nine and one, pretty much. Alright, so we're going to our first game. Um, some people did bounce. We thought we Me. had... Delete these? Yeah, these are the ones we've saved. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, so we've got, we got two videos to kind of show you this video, this different sense of the situation that we'll be in. Time to throw down. Um, so this Winter is actually lose. not a brick. This Let's is actually fun. a good I hand because, destroy you. because we've got Iron Core, we can search for Maximus. Or you could search for Earn Knight. My turn. I said a goal. Probably my game 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 turn. If you don't. Here I go. It's my turn. I draw. Oh, but if you draw a thank you. Activate a continuous spell. You can use that to search for Earn Knight instead. I know you'll help me out. I summon a monster and attack my monster's effect. Activate. Here comes one of my favorites. So this my here. Hand, I activate a spell. We've used the Iron Core. To bring in Sandman because that's Karma Cut. Um, what was? So this is a Lunar Light deck. Um, this guy now, this guy, he did not probably did not read this card and did not read Sandman. But if I was him, I would have activated my Karma Cut when this was summoned. Uh, so now we're protected. It's not protected from banished, that. being banished. And his Yoshi case. My monster attacks you. This is an old Connor here still has a bit of trouble 
Um, I haven't played this deck very much. And he's having a bit of trouble. He's forgetting what the cause effect is. I believe this is a budget phantom deck. My deck will no, this is actually the full phantom strength. deck. I beat Abyss Actors Ready? with this deck as well, and they're it's tier my two. Turn. Okay. I special summon my monster. The Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. He would probably struggle against Magnets, though. I exceed summon. Apparently, I would beat Magnets to play Brick if you went head to head with me. Right, three the win. Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. But nonetheless, this I is actually my turn. This is a good deck, and it's my draw. I throw it with my hand. I activate a spell. I think there is one where my protector activates. Top up, top Just go. And he's holding the tree. Monster attacks. Okay. No. Um. This is how good this deck is. This deck is an OTK deck, but you can. You can handle some decks past second turn. Past the first turn. My Phantom Knight Duel. It's really consistent. This is one you want to look forward to as well. I know you'll help me. My monster's effect. I'm counting on you, buddy. I Which we replace the board. I should tell you that even my easy. turn's done. Ready? Well, not ETK, it's but you can still win turn. with this hand. But... I draw! From my hand, I activate a spell card! Demons. Discard a card, and draw I activate one card. Ancient Cloak's effect. Um, I did my miss to try and use um, Pegatry, like Alistair. Now, I think this is the one where the I screwed Phantom myself Knights over. Of the Phantom Knights of the Soul! The Soul rise to fight right Um, it does take a while to... I activate Dragon! I set a card! I set a card! Deck. But once activated. you get a good understanding... Sweet! Just what I was waiting for! Um, once you get a good understanding... Face down it's down actually pretty easy. I activate Dragon Gloves! I activate Phantom Knights! I have Swords missed of play, but that's because I'm... Phantom Knights of Fragile Armor! But that's all Battle good now. Break sword. Um, yeah, so we're still good. We're still good. Hold on. We're doing fine. Here I go. No problem here. I'm counting on you, buddy. We're in trouble. Um, no. Here comes the uh, eleven sand. Activate my eyes. And it's game. Battle. Go. That's why I'm adding like all these 10 videos because they don't go for that long. So that was, um, so is this one, yeah? Fourth. One, two, three. Yeah, the, that one. Um, they either bounced or they got OTK'd. I. This dude did run shooting star. Jaden. Duel! This is a perfect hand. hand. Perfect hand. I activate a continuous spell. Thank you for that. Here I go. I, my monster's effect activate. I'm counting on you, buddy. So, what am I doing? I exceed oh, no, my monster's um. effect. I throw down a face down. My turn's it done. So I have to start. This I is. Draw. I would I recommend going to next up the first turn. You have to start I first. Here I go. I draw. I reveal my face down card. And then you start doing your play. Here I go. My then you have all the destruction on the board. I know you'll this help wasn't OTK. The thing is, this is the end game. I did not OTK. I activate a spell. I activate us. My monster's effect. This is my monster's effect. Yeah, you screwed yourself up there. I'm against my own effect. Because I'm a dumbass. Not but bad. that was a misplay. Which... My turn's done. And you it's always make mis misplays, whatever so makes them. I set a card. From my head. I'm not. I activated a quick spell. I don't understand why I can't. Oh, 
have the guidance on this crappy it's card, but I draw. It's not the way around the power of the Guardians one of my is my love of and he says uh, my maximum back to the hand, and I run it back down, and I run it back to the hand. The deep grave is a monster reborn, basically. But he's not going to use it. he dead? He lasted five. This game only lasted five times, and then he bounced. So I didn't even get time to finish him off. Uh, that one, yeah. Yeah, so like, um, I actually, when I play against Abyss Actors, I actually misplayed, but the dude didn't read the card. And he down before I could attack him. She played Melodious. No, Blue Eyes. She bounced after I... It's I drop from my hand. I activate a spell. Really I know you'll help me. You're one of my favorite. I activate a my monster. Surprisingly, we didn't lose our streak. Oh, okay. I didn't even get to attack because she bounced. <laughs> so yeah, this deck seems to be pretty good. Like people, so many people just don't know about this deck. I believe this dude surrendered to. Him. Uh, once this video goes up, oh, I'll actually yeah. put my Twitch it's my link, so I'll probably go. I'll probably stream. It's my turn. I draw a card. This video is done. I set my turn. After I, I know you'll help me out. So this, the, I actually wasn't. We just, 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 we because we still got us. Got rid of navigation. So we get Iron Claw. Yes, we draw Iron Claw. I know you'll help me out. Here's the first one. Now isn't the time to let us eye draw it. Like my hand. Because we're out. I am I'm only getting All I need for my hand, I activate a quick spell. We let him just negate us. We're fine. All right. I know you have a special spell. My monster. My monster's effect. My monster's effect. Active time. Yeah, she sat through it and it didn't bounce. I just pressed this guy, Drake. Yeah, Credit you for sticking it out. Some dude with Chinese name. I think was this an OTK? I think that's a few OTKs I've got. Yeah. Where's Melodious? Oh actually this is Connor Fine. I thought I'd give Connor a shot at the deck. And he actually did well. Uh, this nerd here had here two divas, but it was not enough. But this is a good turn for one play. My turn is done. <laughs> This is a budget melody stick, so they didn't have the full rule actually go from the deck. One score. Two score. Three score. Nope. I need to. And then they bounced. Because they had nothing. It's. It's just how good this deck is. Like, this deck is like. It's built around a OTK because obviously the effects of the co car monsters. Um, we were on a four win streak yesterday, but Every duel I've fought has we end up losing to Blue Eyes. Here I go. 
My turn. Oh, this is Car Curry. Oh, he's Car Curry. Draw. My We're working on a Car Curry deck too. This is Burning Abyss. With Hades. Which I don't know why because I don't have any synergy with each other. Cash in. Catch in the gates monster effects. My monster's effect activates. Let's do this. Chuck in a bonus video for you guys. My monster's effect. Um, yeah, but we've got the cards. We just got to play around with it because obviously it's my turn. Draw. It was their cards are limited to one or two respective ways. You're wasting your time for that. Obviously, his monster banishes his cast at the end of the phase. Watch closely. But, my monster right so Watch if closely. he did not do this, we would have lost. Summon a monster. My monster's effect. Activate. Now battle. My monster's effect. And then we're getting an issue. Ishi. Oh, I've got Dragon Rage Fane. Destroy. Bonus clip. There's gonna be a Kyle Corey deck coming soon. Um, so Stay that was, was, that. Was, that, was that Luigi? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the rest is all Kokomori deck. Uh, but... Oh yeah, this dude here. All right. So yet again, a good hand <laughs> to start off with. From my hand, I activate a continuous spell. And you know, your dark magician dudes like I, I personally, my opinion is you shouldn't be playing dark magical circle on your first turn because you'll see why. <laughs> That's navigation. I draw from my hand. Activate a spell. Here I go. Monsters effect Here comes one of my favorites. I know you'll help me. I activate us. My monsters um. effect activates. Navigation. Sandman negates. Cards and tilt. Time to battle. OTK. Yeah, the boys. Shout out to this dude for not bouncing. Um. I personally and that was believe, our up. Um, I personally believe that if you play Dark Magician and you've got Dark Magicians in your hand, then I would say fair enough you play your Dark Magic your magical circle, obviously with your navigation, but if you don't, I'd probably say probably just wait. But this dude is just sitting there trying to get all out. That's on. I can't remember what this thing was. Throw it at Duel. Here from my hand. Oh, I love it. You, you love I to see this. I summon a monster. I I now, this is not a proper one. Do you know what? I'm oh, thinking yeah. in our next Duel Links video, Duel Links Academy video, we might do a Roma. Just the favorites. opposites. Because why not? Activate. Love a Roma. Well, a Roma's alright, but there's no back row protection. You're going down. It was alright when they were first released, but since there's MST and all that sort of stuff now that a lot of people run to the three back row, they're not that great anymore. Yeah, down. Unfortunately. With the current decks that are out now, the Roma just does not stand a chance. Oh yeah! It's my turn. Because once you take it gardening, I activate us and all the others. You're screwed, you got nothing. But, good. And it's pretty much it. Like, Go. Two, two or three games that we passed the second turn.
The rest is an OTK. Alright, so I'll um, show you. With these, get these cards and they're all in the same box. So Sandman you get from Gaia Genesis. Gaia Genesis. Maximus. Gaia Genesis. Gaia Genesis. Gaia Genesis. Whoa. And our revolution, revolution beginning, so you have, beginning. To go through, you have to go through two boxes, but it's alright because wolves are rare. Gaia Genesis. Gaia Genesis. So you only got one, so you need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine super rares, and then you got normals, iron two ultra rares, three ultra rares if you decide to play MST and Cosmic Cyclone, but back row destruction, back row removal is anything of your choice. You don't have to use the MST or Galaxy Cyclone. Plus, Guy Genesis. Obviously, MST, KOX, uh, Atomic Theory, or Selection Box 3. Thank you. Or, or Volume 2. So, if you're going through Guy Genesis to get Sk Galaxy Cyclone, you might as well just go through, go through the box twice, or we went through the box, what, four times? Yeah. Thank you, you can get in Eternal Stream or Selection Box 5. Diamond Core is in Revolution Beginning, so you'll have to go through two boxes to get the Diamond Core and the Crusader, I believe. No, no, it's the ice. No. Wall. Ah, uh, wall. So, wall and Diamond Core is in Revolution. S and Iron Core is in Guide Genesis. Um, we won't worry about these too much because this can be anything, but. Or Eternal nothing. Stream. Eternal, Eternal stream. stream. Shining Hope. Photon. Photon of Galaxy Mini Box. And Voltage of the Metal. And Selection Box 3. And yeah, Ultra, 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 Super, Super, and Rare. Tie that binds. That's it, guys. Oh, well, guys, that's the deck. And uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.